Today's weather was no dampener on the Illawarra Greens election campaign. Wollongong's candidate Kath Blakey firming her position on safe staffing levels outside the region's busiest hospital. The Greens are pushing for mandated nurse to patient ratios. We're backing the nurses and midwives uh, award claim and we want to see a pay rise for nurses and midwives and paramedics at 15% and then 2% above inflation for four years. So we need to fix paying conditions for our frontline health staff and that will help fix the crisis in our health system. Meanwhile, Kit Docker for Kira has affordable housing at the top of his agenda. We want to see developers uh, be required to set aside 30% of all new dwellings on large devel developments for affordable housing. We also want to see a, a ban on unfair evictions and we'll be pushing the major parties to make sure they follow through on their commitment, as well as a temporary freeze on rents. Further south, Shell Harbour's Jamie Dixon's looking to build a permanent future for West Apto school kids. My first priority as member for Shell Harbour would be to sit down with the Minister for Education, the Minister for Planning and with Wollongong Council and make a start on the first of three schools that are required for this area. And in the Illawarra's most northern seat by the sea, Cooper Riak vows to put an end to the region's climate crisis. We're committing to phasing out all coal and gas by 2030, banning native forest logging, expanding the protected area network to 30% by 2030 and backing community-led initiatives like Electrify 2515 here in Thoreau. Residents will head to the polls to vote for who they think will deliver on their commitments in less than two weeks. Olivia Blunden, Win News.